My name is Kai Arne and uh, my topic here is open data, open source and open seas. And I will give you a couple of ideas from myself as, a, as an entrepreneur from Nagu uh, here in, or there in Finland. I'm sitting here in my kitchen in, in Munich, Germany. And I will give you five concrete suggestions on Wikipedia, on Wikidata, on OpenStreetMap and about your app and perhaps another app that I think you could be, you could be doing. So uh, my agenda here is uh, to start, I have 30 minutes and I will start by telling you briefly who I am and why I care about uh, Smart Marina. And then, because I haven't been working with you, I read up on you and, and, and I will recite that to you, how I understood what you say you do, and then give you my external view of what you do. And then I'll come with five concrete suggestions. And these, concrete, uh, these suggestions I will tell you already now and I will then detail them. So my suggestions are uh, to make Wikipedia work for you. To make Wikidata work for you and to make OpenStreetMap work for you. So those are forms of open data that I think fit very well with uh, the goals of Smart Marina. And then not just make them work for you as in, in the environment where they are, but make them part of your existing app. Now this is this is a dream scenario. Of course, I don't know whether you have additional funding on improving your app, but I am a free dreamer here when it comes to items four and five. And these apps part of your existing, or make Wikidata, Wikipedia and OpenStreetMap part of your existing application. And then I have a wild idea for you to develop a new killer application, geo-aware application that makes everyone want to visit your marinas because of human curiosity and easy navigation. So that's what, what I'll be talking to you about. And who I am, I'm the CEO of the MariaDB Foundation. MariaDB is the world's fastest growing open source relational database. This is uh, of significance because Wikipedia and Wikidata run on MariaDB. There's an entity also based in Finland called MariaDB Corporation, and it's uh, ranked uh, the second startup in Finland. I happen to be a board member of Wikimedia Finland, and I am the chairman and the initiator of Project Fredrika, which is about Swedish Finland on Wikipedia, in Swedish and other languages. My connection to Åland is that I am a, an investor in Karius, uh, now Winpos, the IT solutions provider on Åland, and uh, very much locally present, close, right east of Åland, uh, as the owner of Furuvik in Nago and, and an island near Lökholm in the south uh, of, of Nago. I am also a frequent visitor at Brenscha, at Korpoström, and Kiriais, and also Farmers Café. And I have actually, prior to this uh, presentation, I have interacted with both Brenscha and Korpoström and, and uh, also the municipality. I have greetings from Matilda at the university, uh, at the uh, municipality of, of uh, Pargas slash Nago. I'm also a developer of apps using, uh, and uh, specifically on geodata using Python. And on a personal level, I'm a sports hedonist and a language buff uh, with the languages in the order of my native language, Swedish, and then the second uh, one being German, where I'm in Germany, and a number of others. Also trying then out languages that are tourist languages for uh, the marinas in Sweden, uh, Orland, uh, Orland and, uh, and Estonia. I am a resident of uh, München, Munich, uh, Bavaria, Germany, but I'm a big fan of both Orland and Estonia, although I've never been to Dage, to EU. So what you say you do, well, this is an old slide and there's uh, uh, corona has taken two out of your harbor, so I, I understand it's, it's 32 and not 34. Here I'm listing the stuff that, that you uh, say that you're working on, and uh, that's, I've highlighted in blue the ones that I will be touching upon, which is 
visibility, marketing, making uh, your uh, marinas your uh, available across the, the user base. Of course, well, user base is a very IT centric word, but uh, a, a, uh, your customer base, and also getting them in, uh, getting international visibility for it. And I very much like also that, that you're talking about small scale uh, marinas. Uh, there's so many of them. And uh, that means that you need to have a combined effort and use open data. That's my argument in order to make things available for, for the world. And then, of course, you're talking about your mobile application. And, and I have clear opinions on that one. So that's how I understood what you're doing. But my view of what you're doing is um, the, the thing I'm presenting here. So first I have to say that I know Smart Marina only through Lennart and, and the website. So that means that I am mostly prejudiced, but little real knowledge about what you do. Um, that said, I care for your goals as they have been described because of the uh, my own background and my own interests, I, I think that your goals are, are great ones and they, they are good for not just for the marinas themselves, but for all the customers. And my conclusion then looking at what you're doing is I'm afraid that you won't be seen. So I'm afraid, for instance, your application will drown. People do not uh, install applications just for the fun of it. Uh, there's too many of them today, so it really needs to be providing some truly added benefit uh, in order for people to uh, install it ahead of time before they are uh, have been convinced to it sitting in one of the marinas. So in, that means that I am afraid that your efforts will not bear the fruit that they deserve. You're doing a great job, but that won't be as visible as I think it should be. So the goal of my presentation is to provide a remedy for this. And those are the five items that I already listed. So now a bit more detail on them. The first one is that I think that you should make Wikipedia work for you. The first question then is, is why? The second question might be how, but the, the first question is why should you make Wikipedia work for you? Well, uh, it sort of makes sense uh, when you think about it, because everyone is using pri uh, uh, Wikipedia privately all the time. And specifically for the purposes of, of uh, Smart Marina, they're using uh, Wikipedia when planning their trips, but they're also spontaneously using uh, Wikipedia for whatever purposes. And then many of us uh, spend uh, time on Wikipedia and jump onto things that they find interesting. So at the spur of the moment, people spend time on Wikipedia. And why do people spend time there? Well, it is because that's where you find the objective facts. Wikipedia is not about marketing. It is about facts that are neutral and that, uh, that have a reference on the web uh, and uh, cannot be used for marketing purposes. It's also important to realize that people do not use Wikipedia in English primarily. They use it in their own language. My English is great for the purposes of this conference as a uh, lingua franca, but I don't believe that, that there are many of us here at this conference uh, whose uh, native language is English. It's just a means of communication. And if you're relaxing and planning your next holiday, at least I, want to get rid of unnecessary use of English. English is, uh, equates to work in my brain and relaxing. I'm doing in Swedish or German or whatever, but hardly English. Um, the re another way of answering the question why is there's nothing more credible than Wikipedia. Wikipedia has the truth. Of course, there are specific things in specific areas that are better than Wikipedia. But they are then very narrow and you need to be already an expert to know what's better as a data source on something very particular. And if, you, if you're a generalist, the best resource for anything is Wikipedia. Yet the third reason why you have to make Wikipedia work for you, and that is because of automation 
of web services, of applications that use Wikipedia because they're lazy to save cost when they provide content. So when you Google for matters, if you Google for your own Malina, chances are that if there is a Wikipedia page on it, it will be the first one. And uh, that's how, how Google provides content. And if, you're, if you then don't have a Wikipedia page, well, there's, it's not credible. Uh, there's not this neutral information av available. So, so that's, that's the why part of Wikipedia. It is the source of information even for stuff like, like Facebook. So if you then decide, okay, let's do it. That's, by the, by the way, me close to Brenshad in, in Nagu with my kayaks on the, uh, the top of my boat. So how would you then make Wikipedia work for you? Well, the first starting point is trivial. You don't need any experts for that. You just identify the Wikipedia articles that are relevant to you and read them and think, are they good enough? They probably are not. And don't just read them in whatever language you first happen to look at them. Read them in all languages, even those that languages that you do not understand. You can still see if there are pictures, if there are maps, if there's enough text, and if it looks smart or not. So, so read them in Swedish, Finnish, Estonian, and read them in big tourist languages. And mind you, I'm talking now about the native language of the tourists, not, uh, oh, foreigner equals English. English is not a big language when it comes to uh, native languages amongst the tourists. So, yeah, so look at German. First of all, the, our own languages, Swedish, Finnish, Estonian, are the biggest uh, tourist languages. So those are, are, are great to start with. But then look at German, look at Russian, look at, look at uh, uh, perhaps uh, English then as a, as, as a lingua franca because of, uh, others might be looking at it, but do not give an overly big attention to English. Then an option for which you already need help is to obtain the statistics from somebody. Uh, that's what the Project Federica is doing, amongst other things, uh, that we can say whether a page has lots of page views or not. Yeah, you, you can do that on your own, but it requires a bit of research before you find that. And then you can look at related articles, articles that link there or are pointed to from your own, own marina. And the best way then to improve the articles is to find a good role model. Uh, what, how are things done on Wikipedia? Because you have to follow Wikipedia's guidelines. You must never do any marketing there. Just input objective information. That there's, there's no reason to, for you to uh, uh, market, use marketing language. If you use marketing language and you say best and uh, anything uh, along those lines, uh, then, then uh, your edits will be deleted. And you're not even allowed, really, to edit your own pages by the ethics. But you can cooperate with another uh, smart marina and edit theirs, and they edit yours. And that's then uh, ethically acceptable. But remember, just to input objective information and never opinions, just provide external sources, like articles on uh, uh, in the local papers or on YLE in Finland or Sarias Television uh, or whatever you have uh, as, as common public resources in uh, your chosen language. So here's a, for Brenscher an example page. Bren, Brenscher is actually not that bad, but the reason Brenscher is not that bad is that because of uh, Project Frederica having focused on Nagu specifically and us even having given up a book on Nago based on Wikipedia, we have done a lot of work to improve those pages. So uh, it's not perfect by any means, but at least it's a, it's a starting point uh, for how a, a page can uh, look if, if you want to have a, a good, good page. Second article, that was Wikipedia. Now I'm saying something totally different than Wikipedia, or it's not totally different, it is related. Uh, and very few of you will have heard about what Wikidata is. Um, so Wikidata, why is it interesting to do uh, stuff on Wikidata? Well, it is because it's a language independent uh, resource for the Wikipedias, and not just for the Wikipedias, but for other stuff as well. 
So it's the common, uh, least common denominator between all the languages and it saves your, your work. If you put input work in Wikidata, it can automatically be used by a language on Wikipedia that you're not editing because you do not know it, for instance. And Google searches uses, uh, they use Wikidata even more than they use Wikipedia. And uh, artificial intelligence apps are going to be using Wikidata a lot. They already exist, some of them, but that's going to happen more and more. And I've linked here a, uh, an article where I describe on, uh, in, in Swedish uh, on uh, YLE and Finland uh, what Wikidata really is. So it's a long article and you can, you can uh, Google for it if you look, Google for Wikidata and my name and cite YLE.fi. So how you edit this is a bit more difficult. It's a very nerdy way of updating Wikipedia. You might need some specialist for it. Here the illustration. Uh, that's a query, that's something that ex explains why Wikidata is much more than just Wikipedia. So this is, uh, it, it's very uh, small font, but, but I can describe to you that it's looking for all the islands between the latitude of, um, or uh, uh, with a latitude below the 60th degree and a longitude between 21 and 22. So that's close to the other. And, uh, not just all islands uh, on Wikidata uh, in that quadrant, but also whose uh, name contains Shan. So uh, that's a, a query that you can do. And uh, if the Wikidata is properly updated, which, is, which it is in the case of these islands, it will give you a list that, in this case, that uh, query gives the, the query, the result that I have down here. And it says Bari Patton Shar, Doman Shar, Soren, and so on. So, so uh, that's just an example of why, what you can do with Wikidata. Basically, you can do queries, and if there's a query on marinas and you're not listed amongst those marinas, well, really tough luck. That's not going to be good for you. That's not going to work for you because Wikidata is going to be used by all the other apps than your own uh, to populate uh, databases, to, to populate the, the application's data. So uh, if there is a user interface for Brensha. This is what the Wikidata page looks like for Brensha. It has a Q code. It's called Q2433920. This is very much a nerdy thing. It's, it's, um, this, this page won't be used by any of your users, but this will be used as a way of displaying what is in uh, Wikidata so that people are, uh, when, when they're looking at applications, can uh, uh, see the proper content. And in the, in the case of Rensha, it makes very much sense for it, what it has here. So it has names uh, in uh, English, Swedish, German, Finnish, which are the languages that are listed here. And uh, that name is Brensha, it doesn't have any uh, different name in the other languages, and it has a proper description. So it says, island near Kiriais Nagu, Finland, which makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, uh, who knows which Brensha it is, because uh, the archipelago is full of Brenchars. Uh, uh, that's not a unique name. So then switching contents from Wikipedia and Wikidata to something which is not managed by the Wikimedia Foundation, but still important, that's OpenStreetMap. And that's the Maps uh, equivalent in open data of Google Maps. So Google Maps is owned by Google and Google uh, decides what's going to happen with it. And uh, while end users can look at Google, uh, other application providers cannot use Google Maps freely. So lots of the apps use this free variety called OpenStreetMap, such as Facebook does it and Sports Tracker. This is a Sports Tracker picture of when I was sailing from Biskopsia. This is Arnholm in Naga, this is Biskopsia, and this is Lillandet. So this was with my catamaran sailing and you can see that the wind wasn't really on our side uh, on, this, on this picture. And it has no text and that's bad. And that is because people haven't been updating OpenStreetMap properly. If you go to look at, at uh, uh, Stockholm, for instance, you'll find lots of text there. And it's a stupid thing if you do not ensure that your marina is properly depicted on OpenStreetMap, because that's free marketing for you. Q2433920 
Here, you are allowed to do sort of original research. You can even make the coastline more exact and stuff. That's not the case in the, uh, for, for Wikipedia and Wikidata. For them, you have to provide sources. Here, you can enter data freely. And of course, if you enter wrong data, nobody will suffer more than you because people uh, uh, will have wrong expectations on your places. So here is Brennischer on OpenStreetMap. Ha ha, really, really, really bad. Uh, there's no contents on Brennischer, even not even a name, much less does it, does it say that there is a marina there. So how can people find you? It says here next to Kirjas, there's Utrechtholm and Svartholm and Koisar and Kumlena. Somebody, for some reason, has updated those. But whose fault is this? Well, uh, those in whose interest it is to have the islands properly represented. Uh, they should also do the work and, and find the, the, the method of, of updating names and resources, what kind of services your marina has here. If you have it on your own site, people won't find it. This is where uh, all of the other applications are looking. So my step four and five is then, uh, the first one is not a, a complicated one. Uh, it's just that please, in your app, use this. You're allowed to use Wikipedia. You're allowed to use Wikidata. You're allowed to use OpenStreetMap without paying them anything. You just have to attri attribute them as data source and say that source of the data equals Wikipedia. They're fine with that. And that's the purpose of using of, of, of Wikipedia itself. It provides open, open data. So you, you can use it you, uh, just referencing and saying, uh, like, who's your daddy? In this case, it is Wikidata or, and Wikipedia. So uh, don't duplicate work. Don't create data just for you because others won't find it. They are looking for the open data. So first improve the public open data and then in your own app, use it for free. And why? Well, again, uh, I'm repeating myself here. It's the multiplier factor. All the others will reuse your effort and you will reuse the effort of others. So you save cost and improve, improve quality. I think that the major idea here about your application that I'm trying to convey you, to you and to persuade you, that your application, your app, that's not a moneymaker. It is a driver for money-making in real life. And, and if, if, with that reasoning, you should not uh, uh, do anything to limit how the data for your app is being used. Instead, the more people use your data, the better for you, because that drives money-making in real life. So then for my most, uh, my wildest idea, and this is something that I would want to use myself, and I believe if you do this into your app, everybody will want your app, specifically everybody who is uh, on the sea in uh, the archipelago sea or in uh, the Stockholm archipelago and, and in, uh, in Estonia. Um, I'm specifically here thinking about places with lots of islands and I'm the, there on the picture I'm, I'm uh, again on the catamaran but I'm usually on my kayak and sitting uh, one meter with the ice one meter above the sea level you really cannot separate one island from the other so which island is it uh, oh, that we're looking at now. Hmm, I don't know if it's a new place. I really don't know if it's an old place. I usually will know uh, because of earlier travels. But why doesn't somebody create an application such that if you show your screen, uh, uh, look at it, this would be the screen on the, on the app, it tells you, oh, this is Utterstor, this is Iglo, this is Birsha, and behind here you will see Lekholm starting roughly there and going there, and that's three kilometers wide. Trunse is behind Lekholm. It would, and then you turn your, um, your app and, and, and you'll see the, the islands and the names of the islands move there on the app. Now, this is absolutely not rocket science. This is trivial to do, uh, uh, trivial in the sense, for, of course, it takes some money, but uh, it's not uh, as if this uh, would be quite uh, that much because of OpenStreetMap, having the coordinates. The, the phone knows where you are, the phone knows where it's looking, and hence it can deduce 
uh, in which direction, which island is, the picture it gets from the camera. And the, coordinate of the coordinates of the islands, again, exist already in um, uh, OpenStreetMap, and that's open data, and you can freely download it. So I could code this application myself. The upper part here, that, uh, that's uh, absolutely not necessary. Uh, this, was, uh, uh, this is intended to be a uh, picture around uh, uh, my uh, party house in, on my island in southern Nagu. Where, where, where this is supposed to be a discussion topic, so that in that direction, if you are, if you would look farther, after 12,797 kilometers, you would be in Buenos Aires, and Acucagua is there, and Peter Cafe Sports on the Azores is there. So that's just for fun and for discussion. So forget the two first lines from the from an application perspective. But from an application perspective, oh yes, it's very interesting to know that 34 kilometers in this direction is good there. So, so this application, uh, again repeating, the phone knows the latitude and longitude where you are, the phone knows, knows data, the direction you, your camera is facing, and OpenStreetMap has feed, free data all on the island's coordinates. So an application can deduce the names of the islands around you. This is super cool. It helps entertain the curiosity of the audience. So this means that people would want that application regardless of whether they are going to your marina or not. Which then means that you, in the app, because it's in your interest, you can preferentially show the marinas that are part of your financing system. So this is cool because it helps drive visitors to your marina. And again, this is not even hard to code for a developer. Uh, you do get the data for free. So that, those were my five ideas, five concrete suggestions for using Wikipedia, Wikidata, OpenStreetMap uh, in your own app and then extending your application to show some other cool stuff and send the data uh, uh, on the islands around you.